This week on the Modified World, we're going to talk to you a little bit about glass body jewelry. So stay tuned. So welcome to the Modified World, the weekly web show about body modification, the people who do it, the people who get it, and why it matters. I'm your host, Senior Piercer at Pangea Piercing and the purveyor of all this wackiness, J.C. Potts. And this week I'm going to talk to you a little bit about glass body jewelry. Why should you use glass? Well, aside from it being totally hypoallergenic and easily sterilizable, it's also easy to clean. It's super, super smooth, in which I just cannot stress enough how important smooth, highly polished surfaces are. And not only that, but it can be available in half sizes and oddball sizes to make the stretching process a lot easier if you're trying to stretch your piercings rather than having to wrap tape or cram something in there. You can get something like these one gauge plugs here it will just slip right in an in-between size and make the stretching process a lot easier and not so prone to blowouts and scarring or any crap like that. Why else should you use glass body jewelry? Well, it's inexpensive. It's available in a multitude of different colors and shapes and styles from eyelets, plugs, hangers, all kinds of different shapes and whatnot. But when you compare it to like other materials that look similar, like acrylic, well, there's really no comparison. Acrylic's ugly in comparison, and you know can't be sterilized, can't be autoclaved, can't be anything done with it, and it releases toxic chemicals into your body. So, therefore, if you're going to be wearing clear or translucent or anything like that body jewelry, make it out of glass. It's pretty simple. Glass body jewelry has been around for a long time. The Aztecs used it, the Egyptians, lots of different people. It's got a proven track record, like gold, so you can trust it. When we talk about glass body jewelry, there's a few different kinds that you're talking about. Chiefly, you're going to be talking about either borosilicate, which goes by the trade name of Pyrex, or soft glass which is kind of like what they make bottles out of. Borosilicate is what they use to make beakers and other scientific instruments out of. It's designed to be able to withstand thermal shock, which means you know, heating and cooling rapidly. There's also other kinds. There's milliflory, which is the little glass rods that have been melted down into cool shapes and things. There's a lot of different companies that make borosilicate body jewelry. Of course, naturally, I try to stick with, with the domestic American manufacturers that pioneered it. They still make the best stuff. I always try to steer my business towards them. Your chief, of course, in that realm is going to be Glassware Studios. There's still other good companies that deserve your support, like Modifica or a few others come to mind. The other chief material is set soft glass. Soft glass, being the type that bottles are made of, can be colored in tints shades of blue, red, amber, green, all manner of colors. Your chief in the soft glass realm that I would stock and use myself is Gorilla Glass. They also make bearing crystal, Pyrex, borosilicate, all kinds of, they use all kinds of glass. There's still some debate on whether or not soft glass is acceptable for body jewelry. So far I haven't seen any kind of negative reactions or anything like that to it. Now that said, there are some kinds of the old styles of soft glass, like the food vessels, and bottles, and things like that were made out of that did cause people problems. Now, like I said, this is a long time ago. I'm fairly certain that they've gotten newer, more up-to-date dyes and colors for the glass, so I think it's a lot safer now. I have not seen any evidence that says that soft glass body jewelry has is any kind of problem. That said though, I know that soft glass isn't thermally stable. It doesn't withstand the thermal shock of going through 
sterilization. So if you have soft glass pieces, autoclave them at your own risk. That's a pro tip. Well, I wish there was more to say about glass body jewelry to kind of drag this video out a little bit and make it a little more entertaining. Unfortunately, about all I can really say is glass is awesome and you should use it. And I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learned a little something about it. Yeah, of course, you know I give away swag every week. I mean, some engaged subscriber that actually watches the show and leaves me comments in the section down below letting me know what they enjoyed about their show or what they learned or what they'd like to see next time. So of course, if you haven't subscribed, then go ahead and subscribe and leave me a comment. And if you support spreading good information about body piercing, then share this video on your Facebook, your Tumblr, your Twitter, and tell your people to watch it because we need all the support we can get. Without you, the bad piercing video on YouTube wins. So we need your help. And of course, come back next week for another episode of the Modified World. Wamp, 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 wamp